Hey, what is up guys? David Zhao here, and today we're gonna kick off a new series that we'll revisit every so often. Five camera accessories under $50. Whether you're looking for a modestly inexpensive upgrade or addition to your creator's toolkit, or you're looking for a present for that one photographer or filmmaker friend that's just so hard to shop for. Well, either way, you're in the right place. So grab your popcorn, say hi to that subscribe button for me, and let that intro roll. Of course, all of the accessories I talk about today, as well as the gear I use to make these YouTube videos possible, links will be in the description down below. Starting off, number one, this has been something I've used for almost every video on this channel since I've gotten it. Extension tubes. When you hear that, I'm not sure what you picture, but it's actually just these lens adapter looking things. Have you ever wanted to get sick macro shots for your videos or photos, whether you're looking to get those sweet product b-roll shots for your videos? Or you're trying to capture that artistic shot of a human eyeball which you've chosen artistically to convey the concept that a person can never truly understand another person forever trapped behind a language barrier that transcends human understanding. Well, you can either buy a macro lens which can be expensive or you can buy one of these for just around $30. These extension tubes create distance between the lens you already own and your camera body. By doing so, you decrease the minimum focusing distance, allowing you to get shots focused much closer than you ever could before. Check it, on the Sony 24-70 f2.8 G Master lens, this is the closest I could focus to the product, but slap on this bad boy and now you can get much closer shots. Number two, if you're a hybrid shooter, there's bound to be moments when you've uh, went from shooting handheld with the camera strap on, but then decide, wait, I wanna throw my camera on a rig or a gimbal. Then you proceed to make everybody wait and spend God knows how long, or in my case, this long, <laughs> taking off your camera strap, but then when you want to switch back to using a camera strap, whether that's for stabilization or just for the convenience of carrying it around, you do it all again. Or might I entice you with the best thing Peak Design has brought to this industry, their quick release clips. Now, when you wanna switch off, it takes you a few seconds to take your camera strap off and put it back on. The one I have here is the $40 Leash by Peak Design, which comes with four of these quick release clips, which means if you have two cameras, not only can you take the camera strap off of one camera very quickly, you can attach it to another camera very quickly. Also, fun fact, this sounds significantly better than this. So not only does it save you some time, it might just save your audio as well. Speaking of audio, does the audio in this video sound better than the last few videos? Can you guess why it sounds better? Did I buy a new microphone? Did I do something different with the microphone? I don't know. You, that mean? you tell me, you, 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 you tell me. Leave it in the comment section down below. I wanna know, I wanna see if you can guess it. Number three, you ever got a dangly boy in your life? Maybe you just have a bunch of charging cables in your bag. Maybe your wrists just feel utterly naked. Well, fear not, for the most over-recommended camera accessory on YouTube is going to be recommended to you once again. Bongo ties. Whether it's to secure some loose cables, keep your backpack more tidy, or as a fashionable accessory, these have you covered. They're basically just heavy duty rubber bands with a little mini double-sided bongo shaped stopper at the end which lets you pop it through your rubber band loop to secure things. It's a genius invention, it's a simple accessory, and they're so useful. You can get a pack of 10 for just $7 and they come in various combinations of colors so you can show off your personality. Alternatively, number three and a half, we've got ourselves the second most recommended filmmaking accessory on YouTube, gaff tape or gaffer's tape. You can use it to secure things like cables to a light stand, cover those annoying gaps in your barn doors so they stop leaking light everywhere, or feel like a professional filmmaker and director and gaff tape marks for your actors so they know where to stand. No, but really, it's a super versatile tool, and the reason why it's used so much in the industry is because it's matte black and discreet, so it doesn't reflect any light, uh, easy to hand hair, and most importantly, doesn't leave residue. 
So you can confidently put it on your expensive equipment for short durations and not fear the adhesive curing and permanently bonding to your gear, walls, or what have you. You can get a roll of Amazon Basics No Residue Non-Reflective Gaffer Tape for like $13, so it's always nice to have some lying around. Number four, ever wanted a quick, decent light source that's battery powered, has good light output, and has a good quality of light? Well, there's a thousand options out there. Some are LED, some have preset modes. Oh, okay, yeah, but what I'm trying to peddle to you is this under cabinet closet light that is bicolor, dimmable, and lithium battery powered. Best part, you can usually find them for like $20. I personally have loved using them as practical accent lights in my videos, like when I stuck them into the futon for a few videos, or like how I have them currently mounted to my charging wall with the uh, magnetic mounts that are provided. The cool thing is they're pretty bright, have great color fidelity, and is battery charged with this included USB-A to barrel plug charger. On the unit I have, there is a daylight mode, a tungsten mode, and a somewhere in the middle mode, and an SOS mode. You know, in case you're in the woods making an indie short film and you need to flag down a helicopter that's passing over because you're having some sort of like onset emergency. I, I don't know, but hey, it's an option. Okay, number five, if you've been doing photography or filmmaking for a while, this has happened to you. Hey guys, ready to shoot? Bruh. Bruh. I'm really sorry guys. Yeah, that always sucks. So this is your chance. Don't be that person that shows up without an SD card. What I've done is I bought like two or three extra decent speed 32 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme cards. They're like always on sale for like $10 a piece and you can honestly never have enough of uh, oh shit cards. Throw one in your backpack, throw one in your wallet, throw one in your glove compartment. And yes, you can do that because SanDisk SD cards are rated to withstand negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Fun fact. You're not looking for the fastest or largest SD cards. You just want to be able to press the shutter button and walk away with an image without wasting a drive to and from your shoot location and potentially looking kind of unprofessional in front of any clients. Again, like really sorry. Okay, if you're interested in any of the accessories I mentioned in this video, do make sure to check out the links in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, get subscribed, and ring that notification bell. Also, let me know if any of these items or ideas were new to you. I'd love to hear what you guys think of these accessories. All right, guys, it's been fun. As always, I will see you in the next video. See ya.